my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about how you can create a course the fastest way you can create an online course now when I say fastest I don't mean the best I don't mean the best quality I don't mean the the most the most the, that you're going to get the most sales on I just mean the fastest in the sense of the, what you need to do to get a course published and we're gonna, by learning that you're also going to learn the kinds of things that you need to improve on how you can make it better but you know doing it fast is one of the ways to get your content out there to get people to actually start to see what you have to offer what you do and we're going to talk about the fastest way to create an online course an online video course in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so now I've created lots of courses over the years and one of the things that I found is that if you want to do a course really quickly well there's really just a few things that you need now whether it's a good idea to do that or not that's I leave that up to you right but what I want to talk about is just what are the processes what are the things you need to just have a course right what are the basics what is the bare minimum obviously you want to do it fast you want the bare minimums so we're going to talk about those things before we get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you will want to go to cis342.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because I will be sharing my screen I will be showing you things you can't you know see in the audio right all right so let's get right to it I am going to share my screen and I'm going to first show you this here that's over here all right so as you might not know I'm the creator of a site called click eCourse so no matter what site you use to host your course you're going to want a site that's easy to create a video course now I did other episodes before in the past on creating a video course on different sites um you know maybe I'm just biased because I created the site but I do find that creating a video course on clicky course is a lot faster than lots of other sites because you're not you don't have to go through the process of creating a module creating your chapters deciding on the structure you just put the videos right now that being said you can create courses with modules and maybe you want to use modules it really depends on your your mindset but let's just look at what you need to do so the first thing that you need to do is you need to decide on a topic right obviously without a topic <laughs> there's no point you there's no point in creating a course but creating the course using a topic uh, deciding on the topic obviously allows you to say okay what do I want to teach how do I want to teach it and the simplest thing is to actually do a video course right you want to show people how to do what you're talking about it could be um you know you might need props you might need to share your screen you might need to to um have an, an organized a way of teaching it really depends on what it is if it's mindset for example right it's more about discussing and explaining things you know you got to breathe you got to think th think about what you're doing you know all these different things a mindset uh, would do like if you're talking about um I don't know if you're talking about improving your well your breathing right <laughs> improving your breathing that might be a course you could teach right that would be not too hard to do um uh, well I, mean, I don't know I'm not a I'm not a I don't teach how to how to improve your breathing so I can't really say but I'm assuming that if you're teaching that you could teach a very basic quickly using the just the deciding on the topic and then number two uh lay out your chapters right so lay out your chapters you know or modules whatever you want to call them so that you know or lessons right they could just be lessons that that would be the simplest thing would be just lessons so you have lesson number one lesson number two lesson number three lesson number four right so if you're talking about for example uh for um the other day I did a training on how to use Google Analytics to um keep track of your visitors on your blog right so I talked about setting up the account so let's just let's just talk about that let's say for example I say 
how to use Google and uh, analytics to track your visitors right let's just say that that's my topic right visitors visitors okay so that would be my topic my course topic right so now lay out my chapters what chapters I might have introduction obviously there's always there should always be an introduction there should always be a conclusion right that's just normal um how can I put it normal uh English grammar 101 or whatever right okay so in the introduction so set up your account right set up your uh, Google Analytics accounts right Google Analytics account right so my phone is answering because I said Google <laughs> thinks I'm talking to him okay set up your your Google uh, <laughs> analytics account <coughs> I'm not going to say the word again okay so that would be the first thing you got to show people how to do right if you're if you want them to use Google Analytics to track your visitors well they need a Google Analytics account right all right so number two is um add um well actually let's just say should I say find your um that that word again and lix um a pixel right let's call it a pixel it's it's a it's a tracking uh tracking I forget what the word is but you know if I'm if I'm talking to marketers they might prefer seeing it that way right so add the uh analytics uh, pixel to your blog header right so that might so that would be the next thing and then uh wait and then well you can't I can't have a, a lesson on waiting a few days right so um um view 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 results in your dashboard right so obviously viewing the results I, I can talk about uh let's just say um uh, find uh, actually um view let's just say view social uh source results let's just call it that uh, there's a name for it it's um but anyways so that gives me you know that gives me uh let's just put one two three four five six and seven okay so now I have my course a topic and I've got my course chapters or modules or lessons right I've got that organized like like that so the next thing is number three is you're going to record the video so what you can do which is what I'm going to show you right now is you can record a video I which I already did and then you can take pieces out of that video to actually um to actually get you all the pieces uh, that you need here now uh, I didn't do a video with the intention of doing this but I kind of want to show you how that works number four you're going to upload video well actually no probably not now you're going to do an edit video to split out the pieces now you could you know you could record each of the videos separately that might give you a better result but the issue with that is that you need to stop and start every single one and chances are you're you're going to get out of the groove and you might restart it redo them redo them so if we're talking about doing a course fast let's just let's just focus on creating one video that you're going to then trim out the parts for each of the lessons and while you're recording that video you don't you don't actually have to be how can I put this you don't have to be perfect right you can actually have the video like you know talking about the introduction this is you know we're going to talk about uh, Google Ad <laughs> Analytics and how to track your visitors my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and this is the this is something I did a while ago I've been setting I've set that up a while ago when you set up your uh, account it's not going to be the same and then you know I maybe that's the introduction and then I say other stuff and I cut it out afterwards right I can cut this like right now I'm talking to you you know as we're talking about creating a, a course real fast a video a quick a, the fastest way to create a video course 
so that's one of the ways is you just record something now me I record these episodes every day right so that means that I can have uh, I can actually take a video and I can strip out pieces and create a course out of it almost every single video I do I could probably do that right because they're 30 minutes or so and a video could be 20 to 30 minutes it could be like a course could be 20 to 30 minutes right um and that's so that's yeah so that's the next step is edit video to split out the pieces okay so for each for each uh lesson right lesson chapter module whatever you want to call them right number five create course on hosting platform obviously I'm going to suggest a uh, click ecourse click ecourse.com but you know you can host it anywhere you want um well I'm going to show you how to do it on click ecourse so it'll be it'll, you'll be able to follow along here right uh number six you want to add the lessons lessons to the course now I won't be able to do that uh right now live because it does take a few minutes to extract things out or maybe I will but I, I don't think so because I have to upload them and my internet isn't the fastest here so but that's basically what you do then after that you say publish publish your course right so after you've published your course that's when people can go to it they can uh, they can join it they can buy it they can become students if it's a free course whatever however you want to do this right but let's go through that design on topic we did that we got this we got the video recorded I've already done that so let's show you how to edit and split the video so I have uh, a video here that I loaded before that's all loaded up in here and you can see and, and there's a whole bunch of video editors you can use you can even use face uh, YouTube online let me show you that I don't know if I have this is my blog so over here I'm kind of show I'm kind of editing a video on here right you can you can strip out pieces and you can create uh, parts to it and you can even blur things you can add things to the video you can do that straight in the YouTube editor I I haven't used it enough to be able to show you the the process but as you can see you just go to your video you click on editor right here and then you're going to have access to this the you can actually add more sounds more tracks music and you can do all sorts of different things which is kind of cool uh which I probably should learn to use but maybe I'll do an episode on that at some time once I've actually used it the other option is to use um a tool on your computer to do the editing personally I've been using my movie my movie maker for quite a while it's a windows tool um I don't even know if it's still available because it's uh it's one of these older tools that they have a they have a new uh video editor stuff now and there's also um Camtasia and a bunch of other tools that you can use right to do that but just the basic premise is pretty much the same so what you do is uh, you look at where your your video is right say for example this is the introduction I don't really need to talk about this actually I'm going to go right here I'm going to say okay so right over here is my introduction now I can I can there's a here let me make, make my self out of the way here down the bottom on this tool there's a little there's a plus right here I can zoom in to sh to see more of the video I can see right here that the, I probably start talking right here there we go like like this okay let's just do that so now this is the point where we're at, I want to cut everything before that so what you do is I go in here I say split and I delete the beginning part of the video okay so that doesn't delete it on the computer it just deletes it in this like workspace right so now I go to the end of the introduction uh, maybe the introduction is uh where is it introduction would be maybe right up to here okay let's just say that now obviously you want to be listening to your video you want to be playing it you want to be finding out where your parts and as you did your recording you probably want to take notes of where you you know talked about the introduction where it ended that kind of stuff so it makes it easier for you to do this but the process is the same you go find the beginning of your introduction find the end of your introduction and you just split the parts and you delete this and now this is the introduction so I just go here and I save it oh uh, no sorry <clears throat> well uh home <coughs> and I go save movie uh we'll just save it to YouTube 
and I'm going to go right into my well let's just download so this is going to be introduction obviously I would save it in a, in a proper folder right now I'm just putting it in my download and that will save just that piece of the video according to the format I chose and all these different uh, things yada 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 as they say <coughs> but as you can see it's pretty quick because it's just a short part it actually says it's a 43 second 43 second video in this case um the length of each of the episodes uh, not episodes but lessons or you know chapters modules should be probably in the one to two minute two well sorry two to five minute mark probably depending on your content depending on your on your um you know the topic but I just want to show you how I can do that with this tool now with this tool now I've saved the introduction now I don't have this <coughs> one of the things that when you load the video up in movie maker it takes a long time to read through the whole video a 30 minute video takes a while takes about 30 minutes to load it up so that it has all these uh, little indications of sound so you can play and watch it but so I don't want to redo this so I just undo what I just did Control Z now I undo the the other one now I have the the full video except for the well, I guess I could put that back in too I can just now I have the whole video again I just did control z to undo right uh, obviously you can use edit and undo in there undo and redo uh, is there an undo and undo anyways but yeah so oh right here I'm doing up uh, right up there so that now you have the full video again so now I want to go find I don't know the place where I talk about setting up an account so let's just uh over here is it that's afterwards let's go down I just find where I set up my account there it is so this is I talked about the, the 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 in this particular video but there would be a place where you know I talk about setting up an account right maybe it's over here maybe this is where I, set, I talk about setting up an account so now I'm going to go here again to do the same thing I split I delete everything from the beginning now I have the video starting at where I talk about setting up the account and again I go to you know where the end is where I, I finished talking about setting up the account in here and, and there you go that's the code right there I don't want that in the introduction no over here there you go so now the account this might be up to where I again I split it and I delete the end now that's the setting up account I can save that as my video number two or my lesson my first lesson which is setting up the account right and let's just see for the fun of it this is a one minute 28 that'll take a bit longer to save it let's just save it just so we have two videos that I can kind of show you so number one setup account okay so the the first one is introduction so now we're saving these two videos now we could do go on obviously you have more um more uh, lessons in your in your course so your video you can go through and and save each of the different pieces right to be able to uh, to then uh, upload it to the platform or upload it to YouTube and use the YouTube link that kind of stuff so we can actually do that I can so uh, in the notes I said that after you've so edit your video to split the pieces for each chapter or module each lesson right so we're doing that and let's assume we've done them all so the next thing is we want to create a course on the hosting platform so no matter what hosting platform you use you're going to, need to create a course right a course is basically a place where people will go to to actually access these lessons right these um these different uh, lessons that you're going to have right so if I go to I have it over here go to click eCourse right so you're first you're going to need to create an account on there so let's go to the incognito one which is not logged in I'm actually just going to create an account here I'm going to say register the easiest thing is to continue with Facebook but because I already have an account for Facebook I'm going to show you how to use email so I can use an email I'm going to just call it uh, the same as this episode that basically will send me an email to that email address with a link to activate the account so I'm just going to click on register here and it says account created please go to there right and that will activate the account so now if I go back to my emails I should have received it pretty quickly let's see over here let's uh reload I should have there's another button I should have clicked for reload not this 
so as you can see now this uh, second video is saved now I have two videos that are saved let's go back in here account activation so that's basically how that's basically how the activation works if you're not using Facebook you're going to get an email like this with a link to activate the account I'm just going to open that in my incognito window to activate the account so now it says successfully activated the account I can go back here reload this page it'll now be logged in right it's as you can see there's a little little fella right there that means that I'm logged in okay so uh I see the news feed right here now what I want to do is I want to create a new course so I just click on the big plus right there I say course and I'm going to call this uh test it's going to be um using okay so let's just say let's just call it that how to use right an uh, analytics to track your visitors visitors whoops visitors right so now we're creating just the course the kind of the the, the skeleton if you will um in this course you'll learn the very basics of setting up setting up your okay so we can obviously add to this um I can go SEO hash over here header code categories cover image let's do a cover image uh, let's get a let's see do I have a thumbnail I don't think so well I can use a thumbnail from the from the episode right so if I go back into here number this is the previous one I had this one here do I have any I don't have any images but I can use one of these right this this image or this image let's say this image here I'll just use that <clears throat> and then that's going to save that as the and I'm going to make this a free course and I'm just going to say done okay <clears throat> so now this is the course right uh this is the name of the course <laughs> the the summary and the the details right here that could be more than that with the thumbnail right now I want to add lessons I'm going to say plus right here and over here I'm going to put I need to put a YouTube link so the first thing I would need to do is upload that video if I go back to my channel uh, let's just get out of here I don't need any of that I just create I'm going to upload a video and I'm going to put that first introduction one that I just did that's actually in my downloads right here <coughs> so this introduction right here and I'm just I'm not going to worry about giving it any kind of name or anything I'll just actually I probably should say <coughs> okay I'm just going to do that like this <coughs> I don't know how long it see it's 16 it's not too bad I'm going to make it unlisted I don't want this to be but you could make it a public but I'm going to make it unlisted <coughs> <coughs> now that's one way it's as you can see it's going to take a little bit as I said my internet is not super fast but it is it is going uh, three percent so I'm just going to close this and it's uploading right now so you can see the upload can you see no I guess you can't see the whole thing because I'm not sharing my full screen but you can still see that it's happening right here right the upload is happening it says two minutes left so we're just going to go back to the course uh where's the course the course is over here in here and what I want is I want this to be so the free access right here for the lesson identifies whether somebody can view the the lesson without adding it to the library even though the course is free you you might decide to not make this accessible without the person uh, having the course in their library so I I for the introduction I'm going to make it a free access yes <coughs> Now I'm going to make it published right away that just means that the, the the course isn't published yet so that doesn't really matter I want the lesson to be published so it doesn't show as a draft and um, in here and let's see how far along he's at 85 uh, we're almost done 80 percent 89 percent 90 percent 92 let's just wait for that to finish so I can put the link here and so you can see how that works so the way it works is the platform will go and get the video and the thumbnail from YouTube or you can actually if 
I wanted to if I had a an, the free account doesn't let you uh, upload a video but you can put the link to the to the YouTube account right here <clears throat> this is going to be it here I'm going to say get a shareable link he's still processing so if I go here I paste the link right that's all I got to do <coughs> and I say save right so I'm wondering if it'll give us an error because it's processing it the thumbnail is not available so it might just do this I'm not sure if that'll just not work or I forget whether you have to upload the whole thing and wait for it to be processed before you can do this but if I go back to the course now I see I have uh I have a one lesson I can have more lessons and then add the, all the lessons to the course once I have all the lessons in the course then I want to publish the course let's go back to my notes here so add the lessons which is what we're doing right now and then publishing the course is after you've got all your lessons you would go to edit the course like this click on the edit button and then you would go under access or in this particular thing and then you would say either public users buyers and listed so as long as it's new nobody can find the course nobody can access the course but I can say it unlisted right and now once it's unlisted then I can send people to the link to the course which is this this will be the link right here right in this case uh test Google Analytics with a number that could be uh, the link to the course you can send that to people just by you know sending in that link right so that's basically how you do a fast video course you rec that that's all you got to do you got to just do this right you do you decide on the topic decide on your chapters record the video split the video up in pieces create a, a course so you can share it add the lessons of the course and publish your course it's really that simple that's the fastest way you can create a video course online hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions as always you can always comment below or comment on the blog post and let me know if you have any questions and maybe we're going to do an episode on your question have yourself a great day and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.